Hello and welcome. Today we're looking at some sample assessment materials for IGCSE Computer Science at Excel Pearson. Now, the sample assessment materials are what at Excel produce when they produce a new course. And when there aren't any past papers, they produce questions which look like kind of the questions that they would ask in the exam. Now, at the time of making this video, there aren't, there's only one set of past paper questions because of the pandemic, the 2020 questions didn't actually arrive, didn't actually materialize. So we'll look at the sample questions just to give us a flavor of some different styles of questions for IGCSE computer science. So we will jump in and have a look at paper one, question one. So here is paper one, and it's just worth noting some details there. You've got a time of two hours. Um, the total marks for this, if we just scroll down and take a look, the total marks for this at 80. And we can see the first question here. It says question one. Characters, numbers, and colors are examples of data that can be represented in a computing device. Give one limitation of the ASCII character set. The ASCII character set has been around a long time. It stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange, and it's a set of characters that represent letters on the keyboard. The problem with it is, the limitations that we're going to write down now are that it doesn't represent all languages. So, I'm going to do my usual thing of typing on the exam. Obviously, in your exam, you will handwrite your responses. So, my written response is, the ASCII character set cannot represent all languages, e.g. Chinese, Arabic, etc. There aren't enough bits to represent more languages, unlike with the Unicode, which has a much larger character set and can represent more languages. Question B. Complete the table to show the results of applying a Caesar cipher. Caesar cipher shifts the characters um, so many letters across. So example here is window, and I have a shift of plus four. So that means that each character in my cipher text from my plain text will have shifted plus four. So W will shift through X, Y, Z, A. So W becomes A. I becomes a, a, M. N becomes R. D becomes H. O becomes S, and W, as we've seen before, becomes A. That is one mark. Here I have a shift of negative three. So negative three will go the other way. I've got my cipher text there, so that is a text that has been encrypted. And I need to go the other way, I need to go back three characters. So A, B, C, D. So A was D, O was R, F was I, S was V, and B was E. You can see how different it is to the top where it was a shift of plus four, this is a shift of negative three. So instead of going from W through to A, we go back. So D would go back to A, R would go back to O, I would go back to F, three places, etc. So cache, and I need to know what the shift is to E, C, E, J, G. So to answer this question, I need to think, how did I get from C to E? So go C, D, E. And I make that a shift of two. A to C, A, B, C. C to E, exact same again. H, I, J. So I make that a shift of positive two. And that is three marks. Question C. Here is a string of data. S, 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 B, W, W. Convert the string using run length encoding algorithm for one mark. Now I'll give a link above 
to an actual video where I did, I went through run length encoding. But what I need to do is count the number of S's and write them down. So I can see four S, four S's, one B and two W's. And that is the answer for C. Let's scroll down. D, identify the 8-bit equivalent of the denary number 77. Okay, now, a little tip with this question. I'm looking for, I can eliminate two, I can eliminate two letters here, B and D, because it's an odd number, and odd numbers never end in zero. So I can eliminate B and C immediately without even doing any calculations. I can also eliminate C because this, this place value here is 128, which is way bigger than 77. So without doing any calculations at all, I've worked out that the answer is A. I will link above to a video on binary denary conversions. Question E. One characteristic of lossy compression is that it makes the file smaller. Give one other characteristic of lossy compression, one mark. So it makes the file smaller, which is what we want, but it also loses data, which cannot be, cannot be regained. So my answer for one mark is data is permanently removed and cannot be reconstructed. That is a characteristic of lossy compression. You're losing some data, which cannot be regained on compression. So that finishes question one, and that is a total of seven marks. I'd say a big thank you for watching this video. If it has helped, please consider liking and subscribing. It really does help me if you do that. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate you for watching this video. And thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.